Hey guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to do a quick review for you because I just want to throw my two cents in about this product. I kind of jumped on the bandwagon with this one because I really felt as if I needed to try it. It looked like it was inviting, like something that would work for me. And so I decided to try it. Now, what I'm speaking of is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I cannot use the regular primer Smashbox Photo Finish primers, none of them. I break out like something fierce. However, this one isn't too bad. As primers go for me, I seem to be highly allergic to primers, <laughs> but you know, I still am seeking for that primer that will just embrace my skin and just do good. Now, I have found one, one that doesn't break me out, does everything, but is hella expensive. And what I'm talking about is the Hourglass um, Veil Mineral Primer. I only have the little sample thing and it takes a very small amount to do my face but I really really like this primer. I have a whole drawer full here I can always compare but this we all know Fix Plus is not primer. Um, charge water is supposed to be a mister as well but some have compared this to the charge water. I do not have the charge water from MAC and I don't intend to buy it just to compare it. But as primers go, this one isn't bad at all. I did suffer a little bit of reaction, but not so much that I would not use the bottle. As you can see, I've used it to that much already. And I actually have another bottle. I have a, a smaller bottle and I wished that I hadn't purchased this because when I purchased a set from Sephora, but it also came with the trial size, the half of this. Had I waited, I would have gotten it like that, but I really wanted to try it. And because it hasn't done me bad as with the other ones, the drugstore one, I want to hurry up and use it. Um, I think this in the summertime, it will be a good thing for my skin. It also acts as a refresher spray. So it not just primes your skin, but it also gives you that refreshing feeling. I actually do prefer the Nivea over this, but I will use that. That's interesting, isn't it? That I prefer the Nivea over the Smashbox. Well, my skin behaves and that's the bottom line. Anyway, um, as you can tell, I've been slowly using this and I'm going to go ahead and try to use it up and just get rid of it because it's worth using. So, if you don't have it, guys, um, I think everybody pretty much now is probably on the bandwagon. Um, there may be some of you that's new to the makeup scene that may have not heard about it or you want to know more about it from someone who was not sponsored. So here is my two cents. It is worth having, but if you think it's okay to pull out the money and buy the half size, I would tell you try the half of it first. This is a 3.9 fluid ounces. So you may want to get like, you know, the smaller thing. I think on, oh, not, on Sephora.com, they have, sometimes you'll see it pop up, the primer water in the small, the trial size one. If you want to try the primer water, go ahead and try the um, trial size before investing in the big one. Don't do like I did, because I end up getting the full size, and that, because I really couldn't justify spending the amount of money the trial size cost versus getting the full size. You see where I'm going with that? So I figured if it doesn't work, I'll just take it back instead of spending money for the trial size and blah, blah, blah. I just say, hey, if I like it, I'll just keep it. So I've kept it. Now this, one of the things I'm going to mention is that it does say silicone free 
alcohol free and oil free. And those are the three statements that really drew me in and anchored me to this primer. Because once it is silicone based with, and, and has glycerin and everything, my, my skin just acts crazy. Um, there's a primer that someone recommended the other day to me. She said, oh, it has that silicone feel to it. It has a silicone and da-da-da, dimethicone and da 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 and I was like, thanks for the information, but no thank you. But why? It's so nice and it gives such a smooth canvas. I was like, not on this canvas it'll be a broken down canvas in a couple of days so thank you but no thing yeah so this guys has really worked out well for me um like i said when i did have a little bit of reaction to it i don't think it was this product necessarily because i think it was a combination of the foundation that i was using along with the primer and you know, sometimes some brands doesn't play well together. Some things just doesn't synchronize and play well and mesh. So that was the case. So I tried it again and I haven't had a problem with it. I did use it today before I did my face. And I'm going to see what happens because I use the Milani foundation. So hopefully I won't have a reaction using them both together. I shouldn't but let's see what happens um, so yeah being silicone free alcohol free and oil free is a plus and for many of us sensitive skin ladies we really wanted something like this so thank you Smashbox for thinking of us and getting us something that our skin can tolerate finally yeah actually guys I was gonna get this one I was just gonna suck it up and get the regular size and then this one debuted its little self and I decided, oh, maybe I should try that. And that's what happened. So I like it, I will use it, and when I'm finished with it, I will go after this one. And in the interim, I do have my Nivea Post Shave Balm. It's like down there, I've been using this stuff. It's like right there now. And it just takes a very small amount to do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, missed some of this bad boy on my face. And I'm gonna see what it does for the rest of the day. All right, so take care you guys. Taste a little, Meh. I don't know what it is, but I'm tasting it. Girls, don't taste your makeup. Stop it. Don't taste your makeup. Don't be an idiot like me, okay? Thou shall not be tasting makeup. All right, and as long as if, if it says edible, go ahead. But as long as it's not edible, don't don't do like I'm doing. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for hanging out with me, and I hope you found some aspect of this review helpful. Maybe you can go try it out if you've been wanting to try it out and you've been neglecting to do so because you're still on the fence and you're not sure what you want to do I hope that this video actually helps you to make a decision to go ahead and try it all right take care guys enough love and bye